Tonight we got conversations. And next to me, Clark Etzler from Elida. Where's my Elida people? You can cheer. Sorry. <laughs> we expected more, didn't we? Okay, that's good. And then two Bluffton guys. We got some Bluffton fans. Trevor Bassett and Noah Stratton down there at the end. These three guys were national champions last, well, I guess it's been two months now, May, June, in track and field. We had Indiana Wesleyan for Noah, so NAIA, Ashland for Trevor, so Division II, and, and he won a football national title in the fall. Well, actually, he was a winner by that time. And then he won the 4x4 in Division Three. So these guys are champions, and we just want to hear their stories tonight. Clark, how in the world do you balance everything you do, football, Division Three, Mount Union, Powerhouse, we know it, and then track and field. You go out and win another national title in 4x4. How do you balance that, school, social life, your, your girlfriend's here? How, do, how does that all work? Maybe we should bring her up and ask. <laughs> but how does it work for you? Um, I'd, say, I'd say the biggest thing is the help I get from everyone else. Um, the, my football coaches know um, kind of my main sports track, so they understand why i got to go focus on that. My track coaches kind of know I'm there for school, I'm there for my academics. So pretty much everyone works with me to help me out. Uh, my parents, my girlfriend, they kind of support me with everything. So I think the biggest thing is just getting Getting help from everyone else to kind of get the weight off my own shoulders a little bit. So I got, I got a lot of support at Mount, and there's a lot of people that are supportive of it. So that's the biggest thing for me. So. Trevor, freshman, and you win national title in the 4x4. You had a great season individually as well. Just kind of take us through your freshman years. Is Ashland what you expected? Ashland's everything I've expected and more. Being able to come in and contribute right away was awesome. I had some great people on the team that really helped me be the best freshman I could be. We have Miles Pringle, who's going into his senior year, one of the fastest kids, one of the fastest people in the world and in the country, having him lead me. Ashland does a great job supporting their students as people and as students and athletes, so they make sure we're getting our stuff done in schooling. If we have any personal issues, they're more than willing to help us out with that. So Ashland's more than anything I could have wanted. We have lots of high school track athletes in the audience. Some have run at Jesse Owens Memorial Stadium like you have, a great audience. What's the difference from high school to college? What are two things that come to mind for you? Competition level. Every meet you go out there and run, everyone's good. So it's not like there's some meet you can be off your A game. One of the biggest differences is I didn't win just about any individual races. So a lot of it is you have to focus on yourself and focus on your training and try to, don't, try to be the best you can be each day. So try to be you from last week. So just try to continually improve. Noah Stratton finishing up his career at Indiana Wesleyan. You told me we had, we had a crazy story to, to get to where we were to win the 4 by 8 Take us through that. Yeah, so um, um, we actually had a crazy 48 hours at, down at Nationals. We, about two hours before our prelim race, uh, we found out that our anchor, his family, and his, or his wife, his brother, and his parents were actually in a car accident on the way down. Um, and his parents were airlifted, and we didn't really know, you know, everything that surrounded that. So he, you know after we just sat down and evaluated and we prayed with him a lot, he decided he actually wasn't going to run. So he went to go be with his family and we actually had to run without our best runner in our relay and we ran with an alternate. Um, and like first and foremost, like his family's okay, like bless, like thank the Lord for that, like the Lord was so faithful in that aspect. Um, but then we, you know, the group of, the five of us that went down, our alternate and then the four of us, um, it was just really cool to see the bond that we all had because um, in that moment, you know, Sports and athletics didn't matter, but like our brother was hurting, um, and so we wanted to be there for him. And then like to know that we were able to qualify for finals, and then he comes back the next day and he runs, um, and we drop eight seconds from prelims to finals to win a national championship. Um, it's really cool to just the whole story and how the Lord was so evident in in every aspect of it was really cool. For each of you, we'll start with Noah. What's what's one thing high school students should know going into college? What's one thing, when you got on campus, you wish you would have known this, or you're glad you knew it because it really set you up for success athletically, academically, socially, whatever it is? Um, I would say whatever you want to accomplish, you really have to set your mind and your heart to it. Um, when you get to school, you have so much pulling you in different directions, um, and so you really need to sit down and evaluate what do I need to do to be successful and to chase the goals that I want to go for. Um, and really, like I would say the biggest thing is to surround yourself with people who are going to push you to be the, the best that you can be. Um, and for me personally, I found that in a lot of my teammates. Um, not only were we chasing after 
um, some of the same goals athletically, but, you know, spiritually as well, academically. Um, and so, like, for me, it was just really good to surround myself with those guys, the guys that I could be open with and honest with um, in times that, you know, I was struggling or vice versa with them. So that's what I would say. Yeah. Trevor? Yeah, kind of going off what Noah said, you have to surround yourself with people that have the same vision as you do. The first day I got on campus, I went to Walmart, bought a whiteboard, and wrote down what I wanted to accomplish for like that month and that year so I could just see that every day and know what I wanted to do. And I surrounded myself with my teammates who aligned themselves with that goal, and we had the same vision, the same idea. And just making things like that happen, staying in good things like we had team Bible study two days before every track meet. We would go to FCA every Tuesday as a group. So surrounding yourselves with people who have the same vision as you and people who are going to help you and you can help them improve. Clark? Um, yeah, I'd, I'd agree with kind of what they said. Uh, my parents used to preach it all the time. My parents are like this when you are who you hang with. Uh, and it really, that is a big thing. And then the other thing was trust the process. Um, kind of going in college, you have coaches, you don't know them at all. You have professors that you don't know at all, but they're, they're there to help you out. Um, everything they do is to better you. So instead of trying to do your own thing, um, kind of what helped me best is kind of just sitting back and whatever they tell me to do, I pretty much do it. Trust the process and know it's going to pay off in the end if you trust the whole thing. All right. Thanks, guys. Three national champions. Give them a hand.